play to heal. The reconnection, heal others, heal yourself, it explains how to shift your consciousness, allowing an expanded level of the universal healing intelligence. Well, Marianne has more all about it. Well, there's the book you're looking at by Dr. Eric Pearl, and he joins us here in studio this morning. This sounds along the lines of, you know, things that human beings have this power within us. We heard a lot about the secret, about the power of positive thinking. Are you saying that we can heal ourselves when there's something wrong with us, like without medicine? Not only ourselves, but we can learn how to help bring others back into a balanced state of health, energy, light, and information. According to the scientist, reconnective healing allows us to access a spectrum of energy, light, and information that they have not seen here before. There are approximately two dozen independent scientific studies, double-blind controlled, randomized, and many of which published already, showing that reconnective healing alters heart waves, brain waves, changes the musculature and the movement. One study released by the University of Arizona just this year shows that just 10 minutes, only 10 minutes of reconnective healing is more than twice as effective as physical therapy in restoring range of movement of our limbs. This is something that you discovered that you were able to do. It sort of, it reminds me of like the laying of hands, but you don't actually touch. It's without touch. Uh, laying of hands without touching, that you're, con you're just sort of commuting energy th through someone. Is that how you would describe it, that sense, you're able to do that? In a yes. And, and well, here, let me show you. Okay, now he did this, when I went to say hi and introduced myself in the green room, you stood up and you did this to me. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you do it again, where right. I just hold just, up my just, hand, just and, which are cold, hand. by the way. They're very cold, by the way. Okay. That's okay. Take right. one hand, hold your fingers open. Okay, let me, before you start, let me just, because I know what you're going to do, so let me just make sure I, I want to feel what I'm feeling. Now, my hand just feels open. Good. Okay. I'm going to bring my hand down by yours, and I watch your fingers. As I watch the movement in your fingers, can you see those if you watch your fingertips? I will tell you that I'm feeling a sensation in my fingertips from about the top joint on. Right. And can you see the movement in your fingers if you watch them? I see my hand shaking a little bit. And they I've been doing TV for 30 years, so look, I'm not nervous. Look at your middle <laughs> finger. Look at your thumb. Is it holding still? Or no, is your th my thumb is, is moving. And I feel a sensation in my, in my fingers. Correct. So this is your tissue responding to this. Now, I want you to know I have not studied anything. I had never studied anything about this. This wasn't my thinking. I was a doctor of chiropractic. I was practicing for 12 years. Went home one night thinking I was a doctor. Came back on a Monday and I was something else. My parents wow. always told me I was something else, but this is probably not what they had in mind. My patients started getting up out of wheelchairs, vision and hearing returning. Um, their doctors started calling me because the Children who had epilepsy or cerebral palsy were suddenly able to walk and run and play That's, and speak normally and now, not need medications. Though, there are people who say that this is all just made up in your head, that people want to believe that they're feeling these things and that they're changing and that their health is getting better. What do you say to critics? Well, I really don't say anything because once you overcome your own skepticism, which I had to do, no one else's really seems to matter. Um, there are people who come up and say a lot of things from a place of not knowing. There's no research on this, and all I can say to them, I'm sorry, you're not up to date on the medical research substantiating what makes reconnective healing so different, how the healings are fairly instantaneous. They tend to last for a lifetime. Here in Sacramento, we're giving a training program teaching you how to do this work June 26th through the 30th where you'll stand at a table, you'll work with other people, you'll see their bodies begin to move, you'll get to lie down and experience, we'll teach you how to do this with other people. And by the end of the training seminar, I can pretty much make you two promises, which are A, if you'd like to come, you're welcome as my guest, which is A, you will be able to do anything and everything in the way of healing that mm -hmm. I can do, and B, you will be able to do anything and everything in the way of what's considered energy healing and now beyond which. Incredible that any human being on this planet can do. Well, it's an incredible uh, concept. If you'd like to go, we've got that information linked to GoodDaySacramento.com. Click Show Info there at the top of the page. And today's date, you'll find more information about Dr. Eric Pearl's book as well called The Reconnection, Heal Others, Heal Yourself. Thanks for being on Good Day this morning. Thank you. And this morning. my pleasure. And just like The Reconnection is called The Reconnection, the website's TheReconnection.com. Perfect. And we've got all that linked to ours. Easy. Back to you. Thank you so much.